Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to hit today, and there's more coming later tonight, so stay tuned for a bombshell. August conference presentation was posted last night, as I promised. Interesting and quirky. But we're back to this, as 171 angstrom view of our star looks preposterously quiet. I see no active regions but for the one turning out and no eruptive behaviors. So let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star in the best way to view it. 193 angstroms of ionized iron. We can now see that there is a noteworthy feature, that coronal hole. Facing Earth today on the south, its solar wind is still a day, day and a half away, will ramp up over another 24 hours. But for now, all is quiet in the plasma stream. So let's see a fun release from the ESA. Green are prime stars blazing brightly, red is cosmic dust in the medium, and blue are X-rays shining from highly photoionized remnants of Nova. A series of studies in 2008, 2011, and 2014 definitively proved that if you put the ingredients for life at the sea floor and use the natural electric current down there, you can get the spark of life. It was a pet project of a brilliant woman named Lori Barge. She has been deep into this for years, and now, almost five years since the last major news release, she is discovering that those life ingredients can be made down under the water as well. Everything is needed, from chemistry to electricity, at the bottom of the ocean. Interesting piece out about Jupiter. They say to account for its chemistry, it must have formed at a different place. They are currently suggesting a sickly wide range of possibilities, including that it formed much further out and then came in, and the possibility it formed at half the distance from the Earth to the Sun and then moved out. By the way, either one accounts for the stories of planets and chaos. Last but not least, folks, we are looking at a study on infinite cosmic strings and, specifically in this paper, their gravitational wave-like interactions. Now, whether you like space-time curvature or a function of electromagnetism as the cause of gravity, this concept here implicates that the missing attraction in the universe is not dark matter, but an interconnectedness very close to the ether, but with a more cohesive structure that reads like the force from Star Wars. We greatly appreciate your support. Again, there is more coming here today. August's Mars Alien Secret Technology presentation was last night. Climate change, you've only got a few hours till the guillotine right here on YouTube. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.